In the previous video, we have discussed about relationships of some properties of gases, again in pressure and volume, in Boyle's law, volume and temperature in the Charles law, and pressure and temperature in Gay-Lussac's law. Again, we can express these equations or these laws into equations. So we have, this is for the Boyle's law, the Charles law, and then the Gay-Lussac's law. Now, we can actually combine these three different equations into one combined equation that is this one this is the combined gas law this is considering the relationship of pressure and volume and then the volume over temperature then the pressure over temperature so this is the combined gas law which states that the volume is inversely proportional to its pressure and directly proportional to its absolute temperature now uh, again since our since this is equal to some constant, we could say that the initial pressure volume over temperature is equal to the final pressure volume over temperature. And from this, we can derive this equation. So let's try to use this one into this word problem. So here we have a gas-filled balloon having a volume of 2.5 liters at 1.2 atmospheres and 25 degrees Celsius is allowed to rise to a height where the temperature and pressure are negative 35 degrees Celsius and 0 0.39 atmosphere, respectively. Calculate the final volume of the balloon. So again, here we have pressure, volume, and temperature. Let's write the given first. Pressure, we have the volume, and then our temperature, our initials on this side, and we have the final pressure, the final volume, and the final temperature on this side. So this one is liters, so this one is our initial volume. So that's 2.5 liters. Then we have 1.2 atmosphere. This one is our pressure, 1.2 atm. Then we have 25 degrees Celsius. Again, you, uh, we, only, we always need to convert this uh, into its absolute temperature. That is, you convert this one into its equivalent number in Kelvin. Again, you just add plus 273.15 to get or to convert this one into Kelvin. So we have uh, 25 plus 273.15 degrees Celsius. We have 298.15. We have 298.15 Kelvin. Then here we have degrees Celsius. So again, convert this one to Kelvin, that is negative two three sorry negative thirty five plus two seven three point fifteen. So they have opposite signs. So obviously, we need to subtract this one because negative and positive. That is, or just uh, follow this one. It's negative five. Sorry, negative thirty five, negative thirty five, negative thirty five plus. 273.15 we have 238.15 we have 238 238.15 Kelvin then we have this one is our pressure uh, 0 0.39 atmosphere then calculate the final volume so we're looking for the V2 on this one so again copy the formula P1 times V1 times T2 is equal to P2 times V2 times T1 our P1 is equal to 1.2 atmosphere times our V1 is 2.5 liters 2.5 liters times our T2 is equal to 298.15 Kelvin is equal to P2 our P2 is equal to 0 0.39 atmosphere times V2 times 238.15 238.15 Kelvin again here uh, here we're looking for the V2 so we need to divide both sides by what again we need this one so let's cancel this one and this one by putting it by dividing both sides by this number 0 0.39 then we have 238 0.15 Kelvin. The same thing on the other side, 0 0.39 atm, then 238.15 Kelvin. And from this, we can cancel this. What's left on this side is the V2. Then we need to calculate this one. We have 1.2 
times 2.5 times 298.15. Okay, that's it is 894.45. Let me just uh, 894, 894 point, what's that? 894.45 divided by, at the bottom we have 0 0.39, point 0.39 times 238.15. We have 92.8785, 92.92. Ninety two point eight seven eighty eight something. Now let's divide these numbers. We have eight nine four point forty five divided by ninety two point eight nine four point forty five divided by ninety two point eighty eight. So we have this one. Uh, our least number of significant figures here is Delawa. So let's round this one to two sig figs. We have 9.6. We have 9.6. Cancel ATM. Cancel Kelvin. What's left is the liters. So our V2 is equal to 9.6 liters. So uh, that's the combined gas law. Okay, so again, uh, for the pressure and volume, we have the Boyle's law, volume and temperature, Charles' law, pressure and volume, Gay Lussac's law. And again, that is combined by the combined gas law. Now let's add one more property here. Let's discuss about the amount or number of gas particles. So again, we uh, we count the, the amount or number of particles using the number of moles. So here let's discuss about the relationship of the volume and the number of moles. Before discussing, what do you think is the relationship of volume and the number of moles? So obviously, pag mass mass if we increase our number of particles of gases what do you think will happen to its volume or to the space that is occupied by the gas so obviously its volume will also increase this is the avogadro's law so the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of the moles of gas present so we can summarize this one using this equation over here so again uh, here this is the number of moles, small n. What do you think will happen if our number of moles is increased by a factor of 2? What do you think will happen to the volume? Again, this is directly proportional. So in this case, when we multiply this one by 2, this is also raised by a factor of 2. So it's uh, it will change from 1 liters to, from 1 liter to 2 liters. Now what do you think will happen if we increase our number of moles by a factor of 3. So the volume will increase by a factor of 3 also. So from 1 liter to 3 liters. So it's the same with the relationship shown in the Charles law and then the gay lussacs law. So let's solve this one. A balloon containing 1.47 moles of gas has a volume of 0.783 liter. If 3.55 moles of gas are added into the balloon without changing the temperature and pressure, what will be the new volume of the balloon? So again, we have, uh, we need the volume and then the number of moles. Initial, then we have the final volume and then the number of moles. This is the number of moles. Obviously, we have 1.47 moles. Our volume is 0 0.783 liters. Then here, if 3.55 moles, if 3.55 moles are added into the, the balloon. So what is our final number of moles, by the way? Is this 3.55? Again here, before we have 1.47, then we added this one so this is not our final number of moles because this is just what we added to this initial so let's compute this one so we have 1.47 1 1.47 1 plus 3.55 we have 5.02 5.02 moles so make sure to read each problem carefully now again we're looking for the new volume of the balloon. 
So again, we are going to use this formula with V1 times N2 is equal to V2 times N1. Our initial volume is 0 0.783 liters times our N2 is 5.02 moles. 5.02 moles is equal to our um, volume V2, which we're looking here. Then for the N1, we have 1.47 moles. And again, since we're looking for the V2 here, divide both sides by 1.47 moles, 1.47 moles, 1.47 moles. Cancel what's left on this side is the V2. Then we're going to shift this one to the left side to make it nice. Then we can multiply this one then divide. We have 0 0.783 times 5.02 divided by 1.47 we have 2.67 something here we have three sig figs three sig figs three sig figs let's round this one to three sig figs and so we have 2.67 2.67 2.67 liters